What's up enthusiasts? For today's quickie, I wanted to talk about being okay with less than perfection when it comes to painting. I wanted to do this because when it comes to painting, I find myself spending days and days and days painting things to get the details just how I want them. And even then, I usually end up displeased with the result. So when I got my hands on the Apollo recently, I decided I wanted to paint it, but I didn't want to spend a ton of time on it like I have on some of my other projects. So I basically said from start to finish, minus the clear coating, I'd spend just one day on it. So I kept things simple and this is what I came up with. I did a couple layers of spray paint and then hand painted some details and called it a night. I left a lot of errors like unsmooth hand painting and messed up edges, but for a day's work, I'm okay with it. The big thing is, the paint job looks fine from a distance, which is really how most people are going to be seeing it at a game. In the middle of flinging foam at each other, people aren't going to be looking at all the little details of your blaster. They'll just see the overall look, which is the important thing. As someone who often finds myself getting caught up in the details of trying to get things looking just the way I want, it was actually really nice just to be able to step back and be okay that it isn't perfect, because it'll still look fine on the field. Now, I'm not saying all my paint jobs from this point on will be this way, but it'll be nice to be able to do something like this every so often. So what I want to say to all of you is if you've been thinking about doing something like a paint job, but have been concerned it won't look as good as you want it to, or that you might not know how, don't worry as much about that. Just give it a try, because even if it isn't perfect, it'll still be fun. You'll still learn something for the next project, and odds are, it'll still look good on the field. So give it a try. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I want to know, though, have any of you done something similar where you just take a step back and let yourself just do something for fun with a Nerf Blaster without worrying if it's perfect or not? If so, let me know in the comments. I really look forward to hearing from all of you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep flinging foam, and I'll see you next time.